Furious Driving, proud to be supported by Diamond Bright, protecting, cleaning and caring for the Furious fleet and for yours with 10% off using code FD10. Follow the links in the description below. Hello and welcome to Furious Driving and you join me midway through a video on the Rover P6 V8 which I have been tinkering away with this morning. Um, unfortunately we realised we need some more V-Power Super Unleaded so we're going to take our little friend the Unos Roadster out for a little adventure and because it's a balmy, I think it's about 10 degrees here today, on incredibly the 3rd or 4th of January. I'm going to do something I've not done on this car yet at all. I'm going to put the roof down, my first ever topless drive in the Unos, which is borderline exciting. So let's see how easy it is to put the roof down on an MX-5. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's very easy. Now what you have to do is flip or push and flip that, push and flip that, and because it's warm, Today we're not going to have to worry about the uh, screen cracking. So all we do is keep an eye on the rear window to make sure it's not pinching in the middle. Whip that back. That is pinching, I'm just going to quickly touch that. Boom, and the roof is gone. So there we go, our first ever look at our roofless, topless MX-5 Unos Roadster. This is also the first actual proper drive somewhere to a destination with the new suspension on there as well, the max speeding rods. It doesn't look low enough. This is set as low as I can make the things go and it looks a little bit high still, but never mind, we shall persevere. It might be warm, but it has of course started raining naturally. Let's go. And they say with an MX-5, you should be able to flip the roof down literally at the traffic lights. Click, click, down it goes the fastest manual roofs in the world, for any roofs in the world, which has always been a big selling point of MX-5s, slash Miatas, slash Unises. Uni? Is that the word? I don't know. It's certainly, it's a lot easier than the old Barchetta we used to have. We had to stop and get out and fiddle around all kinds of stuff. But a real glass rear window would be a huge upgrade to this thing. Something I will look at before too long. Well, eventually. Now, I will be honest, this is not the most direct route to a petrol station but I really wanted to take this thing for a drive, it's just a nice day today. And lots of you keep saying, when are you going to the roof down? But I'll be honest, I'm not really a roof down kind of guy. I am though, a blasting around in a rear wheel drive sports car kind of person. And this is an awful lot of fun to do that in. This is interesting. I'll be honest, if I had the money to go and buy the MX-5 hardtop to go on top of this thing, I would spend that money. Unfortunately, as you'll see in a couple of upcoming videos, I don't have that kind of money right now. It's a few hundred quid for a second hand one. I thought I'd seen them for like 50 or 100. I was very wrong. They're more like 350, 400. Oh, these are so good. Now, people were worried I was going to upset the handling on this car by fitting the uh, back speeding rods coilovers on it. I really haven't, it's still very, very good. It feels tighter, because it was old suspension obviously on there previously. Now we've taken a convoluted route through the, the lanes before I turn the camera on, and we're now going through historic Aylesford Village. Now I actually watch another channel which is filmed around here in Kent called Adventures and Naps. A Canadian lady, a girl, whatever, who lives in England and she, um, did a walk through a thing about Aylesford a little while ago. It's quite weird seeing somebody so local on the on a YouTube channel. I'm getting wet now. This is where being in a convertible suddenly starts to suck. Oh, the speed humps through this village are terrible. On your left right now, historic Checkers pub. One of the oldest pubs in the county. We've recently caught fire and burnt down, but it's been rebuilt, thankfully. And also, about to be on your left, the Little Gem, which is the smallest slash oldest pub, I'm not sure if it's in Kent or in the country. Tiny, tiny place, room for about three people to buy a pint. I am now driving the opposite direction to a Shell station to buy V-Power, but I'm actually rather enjoying driving the car, basically for the first time, properly. So I don't care. On your left now is the medieval historic Aylesford village. One of the most photographed views in the country. People stand on the new bridge, take a picture of the old bridge with the church in the background. Every time I drive over that bridge normally there is at least one person stopping to take a photo.
I do need to go and get the tracking sorted out on this because um, having fitted all new suspension geometry and stuff, it doesn't track exactly straight. It's only a couple of degrees out, but I don't want to spend any money on that because I have got very specific plans for a new set of wheels for this car. People keep posting uh, links to wheels for sale, but I know exactly what I want and that's not what's being sent. No offence. Come on lights, this is getting boring now. I'm getting wet. We're not even going very quickly. This is 40 miles an hour. It just feels so much fun in this ridiculous little car. at all but it just feels so fast in this little thing now i've got the um pop-up headlights popped up and people might think that's being like a bit of a posy type thing but it's not in one of these cars you're so little you need the lights on all the time because people in big suvs potentially don't see you there you go big suv can't see us miles now it feels like we're absolutely flying but honestly we're really not now, this junction is under the curse of new developments there was a big police thing on the right hand side there and they've just put in another few hundred houses but um, now the road floods every time it rains. Weird thing now, I've found after driving this car almost no times at all. Every time I get into something else, I start trying to indicate with the wrong hand and I can't start trying to use the wipers with the wrong hand. And I've only driven this car about five times. Really strange how quickly your muscle memory takes over. Maybe I'm just wishing I was in the MX-5 all the time. Sorry, UNOS. Well, made it to a shell station, so we can now get some V-Power. But 97 pounds for a gallon. V power mission accomplished. Let's go home. You really can. You're, you're alive with this car, and the car is alive with you, or something. Looks like our mission is complete in the nick of time because the storm clouds are getting pretty heavy. I don't mind driving a convertible and it's a bit drizzly. But I'm not one of those people who will insist on keeping the roof down even when it's actually pouring with rain and every time you get less than 50 miles an hour, you get soaked. Right, so this is my first drive in this MX-5. <laughs> with the roof down, that's Furious Junior, who's more of a convertible fan than I am. Now I've driven convertibles a lot before, and I know kind of what they're like, but this is just such an epic little driving machine, it's brilliant fun. Thing is now, am I now a convertible convert? Well, I'm more of a convertible convoy than, convert than I am an automatic convert, because I'm still very much not an automatic convert at all, still very much in save the manuals camp. But with this particular car, maybe I could be persuaded to put the roof down a bit more. At least I can hear stuff coming in around the corner in this situation. So yeah, this is just another facet of the many wonderful things about the MX-5, which means I should have bought one a long time ago because they're brilliant. Mrs. Furious is still nagging to take it to work. I'll have to let her soon, probably. She does still say it's her car after all. I would say we got back just in the nick of time because look over there, it's very dark and very stormy and it's actually just starting to rain again. Oop. Left-handed as well, I'll tell you. Brilliant. Oh, that is easier 
than it was on the old Rover 200 convertible. <laughs> Maybe I have found a happy place for convertibles in my life after all. And it's this thing. Right, mission accomplished. Top up this thing and now we can get back to doing the Rover P6 video, which is very different from driving the MX-5 video. It's actual spannering and I think I figured out why I can't push this car up and down the drive. But we do need this in it. Which was of course the entire point of taking that car for a drive. Oh and of course getting a Furious Junior from school which is sort of semi-important as well. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, you know the drill. See you soon. It's that guy's face in that Honda. What? <laughs> that was a person in the front passenger seat of that red Honda in front of us. It was like, whoa!